Welcome back to the channel, and yes, it is Friday here on, well, actually, no, this, this is coming out on Friday. Let's be honest there. This is being done at another time during the week, so it can come out on Friday, but to you, it's Friday. And what I got for you today is three used filters here. Got a Quaker State. Yeah, it looks like oil still coming out of it. An AC Delco. Well, what is this? Uh, Quaker State is a QS14612. AC Delco is a PF64. And we got a Fram. Always like to get a Fram in these uh, Friday uh, oil filter openings. And this one's a Fram Extra Guard PH4967. Like those frams. I'm gonna try to open them up last, always. Just so uh, you, you know, you can see. But uh, what do I got here? Well, the Quaker State, the QS14612, comes out of a 1998 Acura Integra. Uh, 1.8 liter, 9,400 kilometers was put on this filter and the oil they used was the Kirkland full synthetic uh, 5w30 don't think I've ever used that but that's what uh, they used in 9400 kilometers and the AC Delco there the PF64 uh, comes out of a 2019 Chevy Cruze with the 1.4 liter turbo and 8,800 kilometers. And uh, let's see, uh, AC Delco, full synthetic oil they use on it because her father changes her oil for her in this one. And he wishes she would get it, bring it to him sooner to get oil changed. But she goes by what usually the car says, but he sometimes tells her, you need to get down to like 30%, then bring it to me. That's what he tells me. And uh, he used, uh, yeah, AC Delco 0W20 full synthetic oil on it. And the Fram. The Fram uh, PH4967 comes out of a 2000 Toyota Echo. Now, those are nice cars, aren't they? Uh, they run great, actually. Got a Toyota engine in 1.5. 1.5 liter. Uses Valvoline conventional oil, doesn't use synthetic, and it's 5W30. And uh, one conventional oil went 8,100 kilometers. Might be a little too long to go on those. But that's, uh, that's what he does. And, well, we'll see how good it is. He's used Fram in it ever since he got it. Ever since he took the... Got out of the warranty, he's always put a Fram because he heard they were good. And you know what? So far, I think he told me, uh, the only one that told me that the Toyota Echo has 300, holy smokes, 360,000 kilometers on that 1.5. So that is uh, pretty something there. So... Let me get some gloves on and let me cut these open and we'll start taking a look at them. Now the uh, 2000 Toyota Echo, he's owned that since new. He bought that new and he keeps it in pretty good shape. Even though he uses a Fram filter, but he keeps it in pretty good shape. And honestly, it still sounds great. Still quiet, still has the same exhaust on it. It's a very nice car. Now, uh, the uh, one with the Integra, uh, 1998 Acura Integra, he's only owned this car for five years, but he's used good oil and, well, Quaker State oil filter. The AC Delco filter, uh, the 2019 uh, Chevy Cruze, was bought new. He bought it for his daughter. She's young. She's in her low 20s. And, uh, yeah. Uh, he's used AC Delco on it, and they it's whatever the factory put on it, and it's whatever they were changing it at the dealership in Selkirk, and he's used that filter, continued using it with the AC Delco oil, because 
Well, it's working out because his daughter does not do good maintenance. At least that's what he tells me. So, he says, no, nope, keep using what it, what it has. And hopefully, uh, it'll be, uh, it'll be good. So let me get these cut open and then we'll come back to do a little inspection. All right. Got them all open. They open pretty easy. Hmm. Must be the new wheel. But first we're going to take a look at the Acura Integra Quaker State here. See how well it did? it did. Inside looks pretty normal. A little bit of nastiness in there, but nothing serious. Got one of these stupid leaf springs. And yeah, it's just got a rubber. Hmm. Well, rubber, so let me get a Anyway, I've got some uh, rags in here. So let's put that aside. That's not caring too much on what we want to look at. So, this one had 9,400 kilometers on it. Yeah, she's pretty dark. And but I remember that this guy's only owned this car for five years. So, oh. Oh, what just happened there? Oh, boy. Oh, 9,400 kilometers on it. Like, yes, uh, it's overdone its work. So, there we go. One of these metal tops fell off. So, I'm guessing the glue didn't stick very well. Yes, so, if you ever want to see the backside of the glue... There we go. Look at that. Will the top part fall off or anything? No, the top part's pretty secure. I don't think it means too much that the bottom side fell off. That actually this is the top, technically, because this is where the uh, bypass valve is. So it's kind of in there like that. But uh, yeah, it fell off. That's not too big of a deal. It's pretty sealed here with all this glue here. It just means, well, I guess glue got by it and over time worked her out. So, I'm going to get this cut open. And we're going to take a look at the shape of how the filtration held up over 9,400 kilometers of Kirkland Full Synthetic Oil. So there we go. Let's take a look here. Yeah, she swelled up a little on the uh, with oil and stuff, but it seems like well, no, that didn't mean much. That wasn't held in hardly at all. Seems like this side held up very well with the glue, so that's not that bad. Uh, let's take a look at the. Yeah, I got a bit of carbon in here. Got a big piece of something there. He says he's not too rough on this engine. He says one day he'd like to pull it and rebuild it. But he says it's not too rough. I don't see any metal pieces in here at all. It says the inside of the filter. It looks fine. But yes, this oil does look like it probably went. It does have a bit of carbon. He might want to clean out a bit. Yeah. A little bit of bigger piece of, I think that's actually glue from the glue on the filter. But I don't see too much glitter or whatever in here. I see a lot of carbon. So this one's carboned up. So that one, well, looks like it held up fine. Except for yeah, coming off the back plate, but where's it going to go in the filter, right? I'm not going to worry about that too much. So... Here we go with the AC Delco. And the AC Delco has 8,800. 8,800 kilometers. So, actually, what did it, what oil did this? This one used the AC Delco full synthetic. Still looks pretty darn good to me. Wow. This doesn't look bad at all. They have good oil. And I got a feeling this is made by Champion. 
There goes my phone sending me a message. So this looks still pretty clean. I wonder if he got this right. Is it really? I, can, I don't know. He told me 8800 for this oil filter. This filter looks pretty darn good unless AC Delco 0W20 full synthetic is really, really good oil. But yeah, this does look like it's made by Champion Labs, which I think some of the AC Delcos are. So let me get our filtration cut open and take a look. Okay, I gotta cut part. I'm telling you right now, this filter does not feel like it is has got the kind of mileage on it that I was told. So, I don't feel like this is a, a, a true one here. Like, this does not feel like something that's had, uh, what was it? 8,800 kilometers on it. There's no way this thing had 8,800 kilometers on it because this filter looks, look at the oil in here. It's really clean looking. So, hmm. I'm not sure, but then you look at this, and you're like, well, there's a lot of crap on there. So, what happened here? Why? And there's some dirt in here. So, I I'm not sure. I'll have to find out. But honestly, here's the outside of this filter, and oh my, there is a bunch of metal in here. Okay. Okay. There is a bunch of, there, there's some, there's quite a few metal specs in here. And this is for that 2019 Chevy Cruze. So, uh, okay, maybe, maybe the oil just stays really clean in those engines. Because this has a ton of metal flake. And there's some dirt in here. This engine, and like I was told, this engine is not treated very well. And she's, she drives her pretty rough. Oh, there is so much metal in here. I'm surprised there's not a whole engine in this whole, in this oil filter. Okay, maybe I am believing that now. So, okay. Maybe it is what it's supposed to be in here. It just kind of shocks me that it seems like, it just seems like it's clean. I don't know. Like, some of these things are showing so much dirt on them that I can tell yeah okay it's not a clean engine but who knows how much oil she has he puts in this thing day to day so maybe it just looks like it's newer oil or he did he run this uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna have to get back to him on that but there is a ton of metal in that filter which isn't surprising since it is the 1.4 liter turbo and those things do not last very long not saying they're terrible engines. I, in fact, wanted a cruise once, a hatchback, with uh, the turbo engine, but, well, I didn't get it. Ooh. Uh, ooh, that, that, that one's going to be... Uh, the Fram one's going to be very, very... Not looking very good. All right, let's get to that one. For the Toyota Echo. With the Fram filter. Well, here we go. Uh, this one's supposed to have only 8,100 kilometers on it, but he does not use synthetic. He uses Valvoline conventional oil. He says he doesn't think it needs synthetic, and it is fine to just use conventional. Well, he might be right. Except when you see all this crap inside. Wow, it is dirty. Ooh, wait till I show you this. That, that's nasty. Put that back on. Oh, there's still oil here. Get this down. Ugh. Still oil on this filter like crazy. I drain this. But, that's fine. So, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it looks like it's still sealing at the top here. Uh, at least that's what it looks like. Um, I got a problem here. Because some of these, well, some of the older ones of these Fram Extra Guards have the holes in them. This one's got the lovers in it. And yeah, I don't really like lover that much. So, I don't understand. I guess they use lovers and the holes in them. 
So I prefer the holes, but it does have a steel strip, so that's okay. Let's take that off. And yeah, this one looks like it's pretty dark and pretty, pretty grody. Uh, for 8,100 kilometers on conventional oil, the, eh, it still moves a bit. The uh, fiber ends, they're not cardboard, the fiber ends, let's get it right now. So I believe that the only thing that was still redeeming in the extra guards was the silicone, uh, anti drain back valve and it still used holes instead of lovers well this one's got lovers so it's kind of confusing me but i'm going to cut the filtration off this one and we'll take a look at that so i got to cut it off let's take a look in here Ooh, lots of carbon buildup in the creases lots of carbon so but he is using conventional oil and he is running it a lot longer than conventional oil should be run but you know, that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get carbon eh, a few metal specs nothing compared to that AC Delco but yeah and on the inside everything is fine I gotta say the oil still looks fine and very it's still got some yeah, conventional oil. I used it for years before I even switched to, to, um, it's only been like five years I've actually switched to synthetics. And I used conventional my whole life up until then, and I just made sure I did oil changes. This one could use maybe sooner oil changes. Man, but keep using what you got. It So far, it still looks fine, except for all the carbon in the filter which it looks like the filter is actually catching. So it's doing its job. That's always about Fram. It just does its job. I'm not a big supporter of it, but I've never found one yet where I've opened them up and the fiber end tops are destroyed or anything like that. They've always just done their job. So, but I can't say I like using them. But there are a lot of people who love them. And, uh, hey, they just do their job. And there you go. Don't ask anything more of them, though. Oh, well, this was the three filters for uh, the Friday used oil openings. So glad I was able to bring it to you. I got a job, great job here where I can talk to so many people. I know so many people who bring in oil filters and all of the... Uh, great uh, stories from their vehicles, oil changes, everything like that. I, like, I get oil filters like probably 30, 40 a week. And I just speak to a smidgen of the people here. And they're all happy to give me the stories of where these oil filters came from and the mileage. And it seems like so many people love doing this stuff. And then I can get them to subscribe and watch my videos. Hey, pretty smart, eh? But how... I'll say that's enough. I've been here long enough talking to you about this. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And I'll continue to keep bringing you used oil filter openings on Fridays.